Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Bearded Dev, and in this video, we're going to be going through an SSIS tutorial on how to create connection managers. Now, if you are new to the channel, I have recently uploaded some videos, uh, one being different roles working with data. So if you're interested in getting involved with the field and want to know the difference between a BI developer and a DBA, I strongly recommend that video. And I've also recently done a SQL tutorial on window functions. So if you want to go into my channel and check that out, please feel free to do so. Also, let me know what videos you guys want to see on the channel in the comments below. So, main focus of this video is going to be connection managers in SSIS. So, what are connection managers? Uh, they provide connections to data stores, so whether that be our database, Excel, flat files. Uh, we can have project or package connection managers, and we will be going through the differences of those as well. And they can be reused anywhere within the defined scope. So, one of the main ideas being behind connection managers is removing the need for us the user to keep specifying the data store over and over again so once we define a connection manager that can be re uh, used as a data store or a data destination and it can be referred to over and over and again so we're going to go over to SQL Server data tools now and have a look at some different connection managers in there. If you do like the video guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Okay, so we've come over to uh, SQL Server Data Tools now. Uh, don't forget if you are interested in learning SSIS or ETL or integration services, I have got a few other tutorials on my channel and a lot more content coming soon, so do check out those videos as well. So in this video we're going to be focusing on connection managers. So uh, as we can see here, I've opened up a new project. It's completely blank at the moment. My package is just called Package and we can see here we've got a screen to say right click here to add a new connection manager to the SSIS package which is what we're going to do so if we right click we're opened up with this box here and we've got some options of an OLEDB flat file ADO.net analysis services file connection and there are further connection managers available if I click on new connection here there are various different types of connection managers. There is a widespread uh, covering various different um, tasks or ETL processes that we would want to achieve within SSIS. There's nearly a connection manager for everything we'd want to do. Failing that, SSIS has got the capability for you to create your own connection managers as well so in this example we're going to be creating just a simple uh, connection to a database which is going to be an OLEDB connection so I'm just going to click on there as we can see there I've got some data connections already but in this example I'm going to be creating a new connection manager so I'm just going to simply click on new and that's going to open up this page so we can see at the top the provider is native OLEDB or native client 11.0 you may see a difference depending on what version of SQL Server or SSIS you are working with so if we click on server name now I will point out here if you do click this drop down now I'm only working on my machine at home to go through these examples um, so if I click this drop down it will take a few seconds to populate um, because of the searching involved so just to retrieve one name takes quite a bit of time there so that's the name of my own machine and then we have the option to connect uh, as we do within SQL Server using Windows authentication or SQL Server authentication uh, we're just going to be using Windows authentication in this example I will do some other examples on my channel using SQL Server authentication as well and then if we scroll down to connect to a database so each uh, connection manager connects directly to an individual database not just the server itself uh, known as an initial catalog within SSIS which we will look at shortly so if I click on there that's going to give me my whole list of databases available uh, for this example I'm going to select sales and we can see in the bottom left we've also got an option to test the connection 
which I strongly recommend. So if we click on test connection, that succeeds. The only way that would really fail is maybe you're using a connection manager that hasn't been created yet. Part of your process is to actually create a file and then a connection manager would connect to that. So in that case, it may not succeed. If I click on all, we have some further properties that we can set against the connection manager here as well. And if we have a look at the source details, we can see we've got our server name in here and our initial catalogue, the database set as sales. So I'm just going to click OK on that. OK again. And that now shows up that it's been created for us. So we've got the name here. Now, I don't like to have the server name in front of it. So I'm just going to edit that in the properties uh, box just down on the right hand side. Your version of data tools may be configured differently. I think mine's just set up pretty standard at the moment. So I've just removed that. And if I click on the screen, we can see our connection manager has now been changed to sales. So we'll go through creating what's another common one we work with flat files. So common we need to move data from flat files. So I'm just going to click on new flat file connection uh, and the name is flat file connection manager. So we can change that to whatever we'd like. Um, we'll just call it file for the time being. Not very descriptive but uh, and then I'm just going to browse to a couple of files I've got here, a couple of text documents. I've got this one, payroll data. So if I click on that now, and um, what we have with the flat file connection manager, um, we have different formats we can set to show how that file's set up. This is just in a standard sort of CSV format. Uh, we can see here we can specify column names in the, the first data row, so we can tick or untick that accordingly. We can also preview the columns here, so we can see some examples of data. Advanced will allow us to see the specific properties of each individual column, so we're allowed to see the data types, the column widths, and various bits of information here as well. And then on the preview, I think this loads either, I think it's about 200 rows. Uh, it looks at just to give you a preview of what's available with that at the moment. So if we just click OK on that, that's called File. Now what we're going to have a look at is a difference between Project and Package Connection Managers. So what I'm going to do under SSIS, I'm just going to right click on that and create a new package. And that's going to be called Package 1 by default. Now if we go back to package at the top, we can see our two connection managers there, uh, sales and file. Now if we go over to package one, which is still the same project that we're working with, and if we look within package one, we are unable to see those connection managers. It's because the first time you actually create a connection manager, they are created as package connection managers by default. Now what we well the idea behind um sort of projects and working with packages in SSIS is if you work with project connection managers you're probably going to have various packages that are going to use the same connection managers so to simply turn this into a project connection manager i'm going to right click on the connection manager and click to convert to project connection now once that's done we can see that we've got the keyword there project within brackets before our connection manager name just to indicate that that's going to be a project connection manager. Now if I now have a look at the new package, package 1, I will now be able to see that within that, that separate package. If I was to right click here and now I can downgrade it to a package connection manager which I will do. Now you will get this warning because if you create a project and use that project connection manager within various packages you'll get a warning to say well if you convert it to just this package all the other project all the other packages within the project that refer to this connection manager are going to have an issue there will be errors caused. So we're just going to click OK on this and then if I look back to package we can now only see file. 
and now we can see sales so the difference between project is they will uh, project connection manager the scope the scope of the connection manager is available to all packages whereas a package connection manager is only available to that individual package so if you was to set up a the same connection manager for each individual package depending on how many packages you've got let's say you have 10 packages you would have to do that 10 times instead you could use a project connection manager and use the same connection manager across all of those packages now I'm just going to show a different way to create a connection manager as well so into my original package I'm just going to drag on a data flow task and I'm going to double click the data flow task to open it and I'm going to drag on the source assistant so once I've got that dragged on you have the option to select an existing data uh, an existing connection manager or create a new connection manager so if we went down to flat file we can see we've already got our connection manager there listed as file and we can see the detail of that within the box as well or we have the option to create a new connection manager in this case we're going to create a new connection manager to Excel so if I just click on OK it's going to ask me for the Excel file path so again I've just got a quick Excel sheet on here and again we can determine that the first row has column names in there so I'm just going to click on OK and we can see that that has now appeared under our connection managers box as well I hope you have enjoyed that video on connection managers we're going to move on to do a having a look at a lot of different data transformations we're also going to have a look at some of the other connection managers available as well so if you do want to see those videos subscribe to the channel click that notification button so you're made aware of when I do upload videos and don't forget if you're interested in any tutorials on SQL development, data analysis, business intelligence, administration, subscribe to the channel. I am uploading videos regularly and let me know what videos you'd like to see in the comments box below. Thanks a lot for watching.